Well, that's really one of the uh, impressive things about Hopkins that I've enjoyed in my 22 years here. It's really a highly interactive institution and I've really been impressed by how much the clinicians and scientists and the clinician scientists work together. Harry Quigley's lab and our lab were both interested in developing new drugs for the treatment of glaucoma. And because of our common interests with different backgrounds, we've been able to bring together different technologies and different approaches that we think have really led to new potential approaches for the treatment of glaucoma. Another thing that I think reflects this interaction is this beautiful new building. The labs are totally open. Traditional buildings are built where each individual faculty member has their own lab. There's a wall between them, and that wall is not only there liter literally, but sometimes figuratively. This building, uh, Peter McDonald, our chairman, really wanted to develop a structure that would support interaction. But how does it help patients? That's really the reason we're here. I think it matters in that glaucoma is a disease that is partially treatable now with excellent care, such as you receive at the Glaucoma Center of Excellence. We do everything we can to prevent progression. However, the reality is that glaucoma is not a disease that we can cure in 2012. There are still people who, despite the best treatment, still lose vision. So that's why we're working so hard in the lab. We want to develop even better treatments. We want to develop better techniques for diagnosis. We want to develop better techniques for prognosis so we can know who needs aggressive treatment and who doesn't.